Hey everybody, how is everybody doing today? Hey, hey, hey! Give me a second, be right back. I'll be right with you, Kim. Okay, Miss Steph. Please. It's okay. You're talking. Oh. Yes. What? What? It's okay. Yeah, no, I'll be talking, but it won't. I'll be to the camera. Hey, Kenya. All right, I'll need uh, both your ladies' help today because I have an extra two screens, two extra screens to <laughs> monitor. Kenya, you and Kim are on a roll. Uh-oh. 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 My computer is starting to be possessed. Hold on a minute. Right. So what? what is it, Zeph? You said you have two extra screens to look at? Yes. She's patched us in through Google. I'm doing a and Facebook live, live also. Yep. Because she doesn't, yeah, she doesn't trust. Oh, uh, uh, okay. Yes, yes, yes. All right, hold on a minute. My, my computer's possessed. <laughs> uh, hi. hi, everybody. How is everybody doing today? Close tab. Mm. Sunshine Lady Annette. That's so cool. Hi, like your name. Your name is awesome. Makes me happy. <laughs> okay, it's less possessed now. <laughs> oh my goodness. So how is everybody? It feels like it's been forever. I know it does, doesn't it? It's only been a week. Already it only, been, only? It feels a lot, If it feels like longer. It does. Oh my God. OMG. OMG. What's going on over there, Zeph? OMG. <laughs> I don't know, lady. I don't know. I don't know. Kenya, I'm going to have you open because, um, like I said, I've got an extra screen. <laughs> okay, wait. Hold on. Let me get ready. Let me get ready. Zeph likes putting Zeph likes putting me on the spot. Yeah, I know. <laughs> we all get stretched, right? You always have to be ready. Hold okay, on, let me okay. pull it up. I had it. I had the I had the thing up, and then weird stuff started happening. Hold on, hold on. Okay, are we ready? Be ready. sure to tweet we this out. Right. All right, so I'm going to put one more thing in here. Um, whoop, whoop. Here we go. Hey, everybody. Hang on. All right, so I'm starting the recording now. Ready? One, two, go. Hey, welcome everybody to Creative Chat Cafe. Another Wednesday, we have been talking all month about social media. We're so excited that you are here because today we have a really great topic. Um, for those of you who are just joining us, um, what we do here is we talk about how to create content to grow your business and generate clients. And so we have our girl Zeph and we have our girl Kim and we have some really fun stuff to jump into today because I know a lot of us love to talk tools and tech. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, some of us. Some of us. Some of us. <laughs> some of us. Some of us. I know Kim is a little apprehensive, but um, 
but she has her way to deal with it. So she's going to yes. share some of that with us today too. So um, um, make sure that you go ahead and tweet us out um, so that we can get some other people here joining us to learn about and talk about some of this fun stuff. So um, I guess before we get started, um, let's introduce ourselves. Zeph? Whoop, whoop. Hey everybody, I am Zef Zan, and uh, for some of you who know me here, I am um, uh, I am the CFO, which is the Chief Flight Officer at EntrepreneurshipStore.com, and I work with uh, speakers, business coaches, professional consultants, and also seminar leaders, service-based entrepreneurs, helping you boost engagements so that you can create more opportunities to get more clients using live videos. That explains why I'm here three times a week on Blab. <laughs> Whether it's going or not, uh, away or not, I am here, people. So check my fro profile for more information about all the live shows where you can get details for the shows. But thank you for being here today. Boom. Boom. All right, so it's my turn, right? Okay, yeah. I'm Kim Kasparian, otherwise known as the Success Genie, because no matter what is going on in your life, drama, trauma, issues, tissues, whatever, I help you create the mindset to show up to success and okay. success is simple and it is your birthright. So, um, all the things we're going to learn, if it makes your eyes go like this, don't <laughs> worry. I'm going to show you how to make it simple and say yes to your success. Whoop, 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 whoop. All right, everybody. I am Kenya Halliburton of KenyaHalliburton.com. I'm a mom of three bouncing boys. And what I do is, as a hands-free content marketing strategist is I help women entrepreneurs with big ambitions and complicated lives create content to market and grow their businesses online. And some of what we're going to be talking about today is going to be hitting on that. Yes. So I'm excited. We're, we're in your wheelhouse today, Kenya. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yay. Yay. <laughs> so... Um, I think when, when we pick this topic, because for the entire month of social media and for the next few months, we actually have very specific topics like Facebook, Twitter, you know, Snapchat, Instagram coming up with very, uh, you know, different um, guests coming on the show. So um, today we, we thought it would be cool for the third, no, this is kind of the fourth show for the month of uh, June, but um, the thing is we have five Wednesdays this month, so we thought it would be cool to talk a little bit more about tech uh, tech stuff that will help us create uh, visual images for social media um, awesome images and it can be the simplest thing that you can you don't think about to the most complicated I mean we're not going geeky today or technical too much but just to kind of share with everybody what you can use because many people ask me because I'm big on images like uh, you know that's the first thing everybody looks at when you look at social media posts right and you're like oh I love the images but people also don't know how to create them sometimes it's um, I just read an article like yesterday it says if you're a marketer right now a 21st century marketer you almost have to be a part-time designer <laughs> which is so true yeah. right because you have you to be a part-time everything yes part time <laughs> everything but um, um, let's get started with what you use, Kenya. I mean, what do you use for your, um, for your, uh, for the images? image stuff? Yeah. 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 So, um, I'm a little bit, um, well, a lot of bit techie and, <laughs> um, I have chosen to do dive into Photoshop. Um, and so I, I primarily use Photoshop to create my images, mm -hmm. um, which I know for some people it's like, eh, <laughs> you know, um, because, you know, the thing about Photoshop is it does have a learning curve. Yes. Um, so most people that use Photoshop, it, you know, are people who really want to get fancy and creative with, with whatever they're creating. Yeah. So if, if that's you, Photoshop is cool. Um, I would say it's not too hard to learn um there is a bit of a learning curve because if you're used to using um photo editors and things that's like drag and drop and things like that it takes a little bit to try to kind of get the feel um because i remember when i first used photoshop i was just used to using wordpress i mean not wordpress um microsoft word to create images and all of that kind of stuff mm -hmm. and so i'm in there like trying to do stuff the same way that i do in like yeah, <laughs> like I, direct yeah, I, yeah i yeah. attempted to go in there and realize okay that's why we pay professionals that's what i learned about <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. So it, you know, it, it takes a little bit of getting used to, um, but um, it's it's doable. So if that's something that you want to do, there's a site. Um, I, I, obviously you can Google it. You can do like YouTube and, and, you know, watch little tutorials to learn your way around there. Um, Linda.com, L Y N D A.com is, uh, another site that you can use to teach yourself Photoshop. If, if you are so inclined to use that. So, so can you, can I just be, can I be the coach, the business coach for a second? <laughs> Yep. If you are not a professional or your job does not make you money by in learning how to be a techie, pay somebody. Yep. Yeah. Because I learned Photoshop for three hours. I gave it to my tech's girlfriend. And in five minutes, she made me the most beautiful picture that I was still struggling to figure out three hours later. So, but if you're in the business and this will open up a new profit center for you or you're really geared for this, Photoshop, I can't say anything bad about Photoshop. It's awesome. Yes. Yeah. Kind of use your time wisely. And I like Tina, uh, uh, Tina v uh, Valent, Valent in here mentioning about um, using wisely your time and how to yeah. use all the tools that you have. Because sometimes yep. the tools that you have is hiring somebody to do it for you. <laughs> And I love that you mentioned yeah. that. And it's not always expensive. A lot of these young kids, you know, you have them in your family, you have them a friend next door. They do this for fun, you yeah. know, you know, and then, and so you can do that. But then if there's something that you're really needing to do and it takes you more than an hour, yeah. you can learn the hard way like I did, but just what's going to take you five hours, take someone else 20, pay them for the half hour. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, that's Definitely. a good point. Um, what other tools do you use, uh, Kenya? Um, for images, um, well, I, in terms of like using images in my, uh, to actually create them, I use a stock photo service. Okay. Um, so my favorite is Big Stock. Um, Big Stock is, you know, How where you, you can go that? and buy. Bigstock.com? Bigstock.com? Big Bigstock.com. Big okay. Um, there are a bunch of them out there. Okay. Um, again, these services cost money, right? Um, but there are a lot of um, free yes. stock sites that I use as well. Right. And um, one of them is called. Ooh, where did Kenya go? Kenya, come oh. back in. You probably. She probably clicked herself out. There's yeah. another one that's called one, two, three RF photos. One, two, three, RF, they're free and fee. So that's a good one. Well, well Kenya is coming back. I use them a lot and they're pretty, re they have a lot of royalty free. Um, this is the one, right? Photos. Yep. And then they're, and then you can buy them for a credit, like for like a dollar something. Yep. So then you that. first, right. what was the one I use? I use stock photo and then I use one, two, three, RF. Yeah, that's a good one. Um, the one that one that I use is called Pexels, P E X E L L S dot com. I just put that over there. Yep. Um, that's one. There's another one. Hold on, let me make sure I don't do what I, I think did before. Pexels is great for this, guys. If you want stock images, that's what you use. You download them, and then you can search for your photos here because our team uses this too. So you, you yeah. look for photos, and then you will also have options to buy, right? So to buy the uh, the photos. So um, so just to have a disclaimer here, we are just sharing the, the yeah, screen we share. Um, just to kind of give this as a resource to you folks out there who are watching. Um, this is, uh, nothing has to do with, with, you know, us monetizing from this. This is just information no. for you guys. Yeah. So just yeah. bookmark some, you know, bookmark the links Pexels. that, um, yep. seem interesting to you. Yep. Pix Bay is another one that's kind of like Pexels. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, I mean, there's a lot of free, I, I use a lot of free, um, images from these sites too. Um, but if you okay. want a diff, you know, more of a selection, then you can um, subscribe to one of the. Ooh, ooh, what's that? I have no idea. Let me. Yeah, I think it was that website. Oh. P -I yeah. So. A yeah, but the, but in terms of fault images, I I heavily use Photoshop and you know images that I take and um, you know stock photos. Yep. 
uh, stock photos. So uh, for some of you guys who are uh, just joining in, the stock photos, Pixabay, Paxos, one, two, three, yeah. RF, which you can buy. And then here is the big stock. Um, as far as I think designing those images, so we talk about, you know, sometimes we marketers have to actually uh, be part-time designers. If you have the capability and time and you can do it quick, right? So I don't know how many of you use this, which is Canva. Can you put in number one if you're using this? I mean, I love Canva. Do you use this, uh, Kenya, Kim? Yes. Ooh, look at yeah, that. I've, 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 I use it for clients. Yeah. And, yeah I think and that's about my, that's about the most, like I can barely do it myself, but I can do it. If I can stick to a basic, I, you know, I can, I can, I can use it. And then, but it's a great thing for like my assistant to use. She uses it all the time. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. And that's free and fee. You can actually buy a template for like a dollar. Right. So yeah. some, and, and change it. You can buy the template and change it. So that's sometimes what I do. I buy a template that I like, and then I, I change it to my specifications. Right. Because I really can't do something from scratch, like layer it. Right. Um, but I'll use my um, pictures for my photographer. And that's something, if you guys want to do images, especially if you include yourself, and I know we have some photographers in the room, um, pay a good photographer in your area for some yes. awesome headshots. Yes. Yeah. It's worth yes. the money. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, you don't want to be doing a Facebook. You don't want to be doing a phone, you know, a selfie shot for your, um, for your marketing stuff. It's great for Facebook and casual stuff. But for if you're going to make banners or do whatever you want to do on Facebook professionally, get invest an hour in a photographer's time to do some headshots. Yeah. And I think one of the things, right, which is very big and we don't talk about this often is if we can actually get a photographer to take like really nice big, um, you know, whether it's um, it's the scenery or whatever get them and then you know collaborate with them um tina maybe who's in here could probably talk a little bit about this is probably she has ideas of uh, of how she's collaborating with her clients because this is one way i think we can probably use photographers for instance if you want big um big high pixel pictures and good quality you will probably need to go find somebody to probably go do some shots with you right because i think it's very important especially although today is social media, but you might need some good shots for uh, branding, you know, whether it's you in your environment, could be you sitting down, um, for me, I see myself sitting down at a, comp like not only a computer, like three computers, right? And doing my media stuff. That kind of stuff probably needs a nice branded uh, photogra uh, uh, photo, so you probably have to have to use a photographer for that. And I think um, I have a friend uh, photographer who actually specializes in um, plants, uh, flowers, landscaping. So if your business has that, you might want to buy like, um, I don't know how photographers price their um, images, but you can probably buy a dozen or a package and then have yeah. it customized because you want that, um, you know, um, royalty to that photo. So yeah. yeah. Yeah, and I and and you know one of the things because I haven't invested in a photographer yet, but one of the things you can do, mm -hmm. if you you know want personal images, is I use my computer and I use a program called UCam. Mm -hmm. um, I think the latest one is UCam Seven, and um, you can take images of yourself. You know, just simple ones like you know with your background or yes. what have you, yeah. um, with a nice webcam and some nice lighting. And you know you can you can create some some interim pictures yes. if you can't afford to get the professional ones yep. um, right yet. So that's another option too. Another thing I think that uh, we can use. So I'm going to go into the apps a little bit. And people, um, you know, um, if you, um, I'm not a I'm not a um, iOS user. I am an Android user. So I'll have to show you the Google uh, Play. So. You can really go, so think about this, right? Sometimes you want quick uh, images that are that you can quickly turn into nice social media posts. And you can use apps like, you know, Pic Collage. There's so many things that you can use, like, you know, Photo Grid Photo. You can just search them in your uh, app store. There's so many that you can do, and they're all kind of integrated with whether it's Facebook or Twitter. Mostly, like, I use layouts. Um, I think layouts for pictures. 
uh, for Instagram, I think I use that. So I use layouts for Instagram and what this one right here. So when you actually download that into your phone or your tablet, you can take several pictures from your collection. Probably you don't get you don't you didn't get a chance to put them in layouts when you want to post because you're at an event, you're taking pictures, snapping and all that stuff, right? But then you want to come back to those pictures later and probably glue them or stitch them together and you can use uh, uh, an app like layout for Instagram and you know when you use Instagram um, you have the opportunity to integrate or sync your account with Facebook and Twitter and you can probably do you know multiple location posts so when you do a layout you post it out say for instance even though you're doing on Instagram you put it out um, simultaneously to Facebook so you will always yeah. have that copy of that layout right so here's an idea of how you can really create awesome awesome visual posts without overthinking stuff like we don't have the time absolutely but we can use all this um, apps and just put in the pictures that we want and make them personal and I think from a social media point of view many people relate to personal images um, yeah. and I've I've studied my Facebook insights. Every time I do a layout image from Instagram and I put it on my business page, they get one of the best ratings of all times because they're more personable. There's a story, you humanize your brand. So, you know, yeah. consider using your own pictures instead of stock photography. Of course, you know, you will use stock photography, maybe you do quotes and stuff like that, but use your own pictures. Yeah. I, I can't hear Kim. Okay, right. Oh. What were you saying, Kim? You like that? Do you yeah, use? I, I like it. Yeah, I like it. So, um, anybody else has any ideas? So, um, just now, um, let me see who is in here. Um, let me let me see here. Um, personal, but yeah, visionary paper. You're absolutely right. Um, I think sometimes when we go out your phone could be your best tool right we all have one of these right so um or even if you have camera sometimes you can't do it immediately because you think like you're, you're at an event and you're like on your phone all the time people go like what in the world are you doing so take a lot of pictures save them to the gallery of your phone then come back and just like do a layout and uh, download an app um and you know how it is i don't know if you use this feature but if you look at your phone you probably will see you have an edit feature built in into your um, your phone so Samsung has it all right so I can take an image and then I can edit it and I can edit with oh, water right. we can yeah, right. I have a tablet duh yeah exactly yeah. not only yeah, that yeah. we can also do we can also do the um, you know how it changes to cartoon or um, it has that uh is that uh what you call it the features Snapchat. that yeah whether it's sepia colors Snapchat. black and white and then you can have like paper oh, print yeah like paper print oh, where is that background is that from is that from me where's that coming from oh it's kenya that's all right so, what are you hearing are you i'm hearing uh like uh lawnmower in the back or something yeah, that's me. Okay, all right. So, yes, use your phone. There's a feature that you can actually change your images into uh, newsprint, sepia color, black and white, uh, vintage, just like you have those images on Instagram. You can do the same thing. The thing about, I think, creating awesome visual content using, I mean, I mean tools that uh, help you create awesome visual content is it also has to be, be relatable or relevant to your branding. If you're that kind of brand, I think in one of the shows this past few weeks, we talked about if you're the kind of classic contemporary that has a black and white, then stay with the black and white. You make it really classic contemporary, you know? But at the end of the day, it has to come back to your branding. For me, for us as entrepreneurs, that so we're vibrant, we're bold, we're dynamic. That means if somebody looks at our images, they don't fall asleep. You know what I mean? Boom, right? So um, that's basically how you should be thinking about creating um, awesome visual content for social media. Anybody else have any, um, you know, uh, ideas or input to that, Kenya? Oh, you're muted. Uh, I, 
I am for some reason every Wednesday they they do lawn stuff here, <laughs> and so so irritating. Um, but no, I'm I'm listening to you because I actually for all my tech, I you know I have not really embraced the apps mm -hmm. with the phone. Mm -hmm. So and I know that there are quite a lot of um, you know uh, apps that you can use for images and, and that kind of thing. So I would like to know if any of you have any that you use. I know, I think Lauren posted pixlr.com. Lauren, is that an, a phone, an app for the phone or is that like just a, um, a stock, a a stock photo? Um, but yeah, no, I mean, I think I personally love doing um, original images. Um, yes, they're, they're I do easier too. and they get a lot more juice yes absolutely um, I think so I'm just gonna give you all a glimpse into what my canva looks like so if, I don't know if you all do this a lot but I have a template so in creating awesome visual content for social media without overwhelming yourself especially if you're starting out you're a beginner right you're doing your own stuff and you're not hiring out just yet right so if you're using canva you can really um, optimize canva to work for you by creating templates i don't know why i'm not able to screen share but let me see <laughs> Yeah, there you go. So here's an idea of what we do at our team. Can you see how many images that we create as templates? So basically, yeah. right, keep them in there. And whenever you want to use them, you can come back and do that. So here's an idea for us with the Creative Chat Cafe shows or our Momentum Track Mojo shows. We've already created the template for the entire month. So, you know, um, do it ahead of time. You create a template and all you have to do is literally just go in there. It's not showing. S there you go. Oops. The moment I put it up, it goes away. So basically, uh, create a template that you can just go in. If you can't do it, you can always hire out and delegate it to a team member, right? So when you're ready, you have that template, just have somebody do that. So as you can see, these are our topics for July. We've created all the templates in here, right? And all we have to do later is just go ahead and, uh, you know, put it out there. That's a smart way of managing your visual content because if you don't do that, you're creating every time. And Canva, if you do the upgraded version, which is like $10 a month, which is really inexpensive, you get to save your fonts, you get to save your colors, you uh, get to save your uh, branding entirely. So you can just copy to every image that you do. Does anybody else do yeah. this like uh, other than I me? I like that. <laughs> just crazy uh, managing that. Yeah, it's very important. Yeah, and I do something similar with Photoshop. Kim, you're uh -oh. muted. You're you're muted. Kim, you're muted. If you guys can't do this as well as Zeph and Kenya can, Fiverr is a wonderful yes. um, website. Yes. I did not know. Like for five dollars, they can make you a professional um, graphic of anything, a web, um, a header, a Facebook post, anything. Yes. So. After spending three hours on Canva and going, oh my God, I can't do this. <laughs> I found Fiverr and for $15, I got three things that I love that I could use, that I could use over. And you can get a file that where you can use it over and over again too. You pay a little extra and they'll give you the file that you can change. Yeah. And I think one of the biggest things for all of us to know, um, would love right now, whoever has any ideas uh, in using uh, awesome visual tools, come on in into the seat and I want to get tips. I mean. It doesn't have to be long. You don't have to be long in the seat, but just share your tips and ideas about how to create uh, awesome visual content for social uh, for social media using the apps or tools that you are currently using, because it's kind of important for uh, this day and age, especially in marketing. And if you're doing social media marketing, if you if you do your analytics, what you will uh, realize and what you will learn is images, uh, posts that have images have higher clickable rates so you know uh, and higher sharing rates so that's a good thing right because you have to make that first impression yeah there you go tina that's says cool. build a file have an arsenal ready yes tina boop fist bump boom boom right <laughs> i love that um test the question if it worked oh okay so basically um that's i think some of the things that i'm doing i don't know if anybody else uses any other tools um 
Uh, back to what you said, Kenya, I love the fact that to humanize our brand people, take your own pictures, yes. especially if you yes. out somewhere, right? And you're at an event, if it is a branded to what you do, here's an example. For us, I love to do networking. I love to meet people. So when I go to a networking event, I meet people. I take pictures, silly pictures. Yeah, that's fine. But take pictures Then you can probably, here's an idea. Put quotes, quotes that mean a lot to you and put that and then sh uh, share it out on your Facebook page. That's a great mm -hmm. way to connect and humanize uh, the brand. I, I, you know, you can't beat the, you can't beat the um, original pictures. Any other yeah. tips, Kenya, um, that you use? I do. Give me a second because I'm trying to um, find something. I can't remember what it's called. Cause <laughs> but it's, there's a, a cool little tool that I've used. I don't use it that often, um, but while I look for it, I do want to make a, a point about what Kim said about Fiverr. Yes. Um, when you go to um, have someone create images for you, there are a couple of things. Um, if you can have somebody create your image for you and set it up and mm -hmm. use that as a template mm -hmm. um, and use Canva or something like that, like have somebody get you started with something that's really nice and quality, um, and if you do that, I just have to let you guys know to make sure that you rec you purchase the source files. Yeah. Um, make sure you purchase the source files, which means that you get the co the working copy that they're actually using to create the image, so that you can like you know change the wording. Yeah, there's, change there's enough charge for that, but yes, you, it's yeah. well worth it. Yeah, I just wanted to make that point because sometimes you know. It, it's great to have an image, if but you know I, I always like even even if you feel like you're not gonna do it yourself, yeah. and maybe maybe later on you you bring someone else on to take it over or whatever. It's just always good to have the source files, um, yeah. so that you don't Especially you know. Um, I am I'm, I'm reading what um, some of the chats here. Tina saying uh, invest in your uh, is that invest in a um, portrait professional portraits of you. You're worth it. Absolutely, I, I agree. You know, um, I've had um, I've had work uh, done with a professional photographer for my uh, most recent headshot, and I think yes, you know, you do have to at a time when you're ready. In fact, especially you have to invest because if you're growing, right, you need more pictures, especially if you're a speaker you're a professional consultant somebody if you're going out there to you know speak uh, or probably present somebody's gonna ask for your headshot so have a great yeah. headshot right that represents your element sometimes when we take it you know even though they're on your phones and stuff like that you know the pictures can be pixelated so if they were to go to print it will not work so you'll definitely need to work with a professional photographer for your headshots the one that you'll be using for speaking engagements for you know for formal events they will actually yeah. ask you for it because they'll say you know we want to do a print or whatever then they'll have it absolutely Relay that um, dot com. No, not yet. Maybe I'll put that up. So, re uh, so relay that is also another um, stock photography. Let me just put that on screen. Relay that. It's oh, that's crazy. I'm trying to find this thing. All right. So let me put that up and see if oh graphics that design themselves. Ooh, never heard of this. Would you like to jump in and tell us a little bit about this? Graphics and Sounds design them. I know. Isn't that cool? So it says, just at you, you have something worth sharing, backed by the hustle and passion to change life. Oh, that's pretty cool. It almost looks at a glance like, um, like uh, Canva. So you can create schedule. Schedule? Wow. wow. We love <laughs> Can you see no, schedule? I love that. <laughs> we all love that. We can schedule cool engage. And I oh, think who is this? Which which website is it's this? It's called Relay That. So Ben Requen, uh, Requena, uh I hope I mentioned uh, I'm saying that your name right. But um, Ben mentioned that um, relay that dot com is an image creation app by Craig Carpenter. Oh yeah, Craig Carpenter is um he's a regular here on Blab. Nice. Pretty cool guys. I love it. That looks good and Very awesome. Nice. So here you go. Here's another option then. Um, 
visionary paper says relay that is intuitive so um, it makes it for you oh pretty cool we so need to find out right so I love here's the thing I love apps or tools that can help us create images if uh, you know efficiently and effectively when I say efficiently without too much work just like what Kim was saying if it's more than yeah if it's more than you can handle probably the best thing is just go to Fiverr and hire somebody of course you may not get the best sometimes you're lucky you need to research or ask for referrals or take a look at their recommendations and see what actually you know is um, who actually would be a better fit for you and what you want to do because Fiverr is just like um, just like eBay for you know um, yeah. <laughs> freelancers so you kind of have to go through a little bit and do a little bit of research and find out from your friends from your network who has used a Fiverr so one of my interns so I'm gonna kind of share a little bit of a story about how I also use this you know um, these opportunities to help my interns start their own business currently we have a graphic designer intern who has done a great job with um, with the images for uh, um, for entrepreneurs at SOAR and I've actually encouraged her I told her go to Fiverr or maybe you can go to Upwork and you know um, become a SOAR and that's what she's gonna start doing so I'm, I'm very proud of her so yeah she's yeah. finishing up her internship but the thing is that if you can find people you know who um, you can trust on your designs for simple designs yeah. for five dollars you can't expect a lot but sometimes you'll find really great ones for yes. I think for quick social media post images if you don't want to do it just hire somebody to do it you know you can probably find hey can you do me you know 30 pictures for um for x amount of dollars you know and see what yes. their packages are probably they have packages then it's worth the time yep yeah, so, yeah that little bit of that little bit of investment even if it's 50 bucks if all you have is 50 bucks correct Exactly. Somebody will be willing to help you to do something. Yeah. Uh, Visionary Paper says, yes, as a designer, you have to really dig through Fiverr. Absolutely. Um, because, you know, um, especially for, okay, for me, because I have interns, um, you know, um, I'm blessed in that way, but I've used Fiverr in the past. Sometimes it's a hit, sometimes it's a miss. But mm -hmm. if I want something quick, I too coming it into that, you know, relationship for five dollars, I know I may have to tell them more than three times a little bit <laughs> as to what I yeah. want. So be specific. Yeah, and, but they're willing to do it though. They're willing yeah. to do it. Yeah, they, they'll absolutely. give you a couple revisions. And for five dollars, yeah. Most graphic artists are anywhere from fifty to one hundred and fifty dollars per hour. So to take a chance for $5, it's yeah. not that big of a deal, especially if you don't have a good graphic artist. Like, you know, I have people that if I need something really done well, I know who I'm going to and I'll pay the money. But you don't want to pay an hour worth of work for just a Facebook post. Yes. It's not a yeah. good, you know, for your headshot or for your header, for your, your website. Yeah, you invest in that. But if you just want something quick on the go, you're right. You should always look and they give you reviewer on Fiverr. They tell yes. you the people how they like the work or not. So you want somebody with a high approval rating, mm -hmm. but for five bucks to give it a shot. Yeah. And this is where I think, you know, system systems come in too. You know, you create a budget. So if you know, like you're going to do, um, one picture quote a week or whatever, yeah. you know, um, you just set up your budget to say, okay, I'm going to need, you know, 20 you know pay $20 to get four images you know and and just do it like that so um yeah create create some sort of flow so it's just not like randomly okay I'm paying five dollars for this one image and you know what I mean like create a flow so that you can actually make whatever your visual social media strategy is work for you yeah Absolutely. And I think many people, right? So it was funny yesterday I had a show, um, my SZF show on Tuesday night. Um, and I had um, the topic was, or the title of the show was live video management. So if we were to talk a little bit about visual content or uh, management, you have to think about what is your process. Hi! Can you hear the word process now? Because you know I'm a process gal, woo woo, right? Because I love yep. to talk about process because this is when it becomes overwhelming. And y'all know I love to say download to upload, boom, right? Because if you don't yeah. download to upload and understand that you have a lot of logistics to take care uh, of, if whether you're doing yourself yes. or you're hiring out, you have to do some sort of a, I would say groundwork 
to have your visual content management because when we say visual content management it's not only the social media post images we're talking about for your blogs for your website flyers yeah. business cards blah 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 right that's a lot but if you don't have a process an example of a process for you know creating uh, the visual content for social media is having a template that is so as basic as that do you know if you don't create a template how overwhelming it could be especially if you have more than one social network and especially also if you have a group that you actually manage yeah. like a Facebook group then you probably want to create two sets of templates right because one for your page do you see where this is going if you don't have visual yeah. content management process not only process you have to build a system because a system includes like okay now you've created images what do you do next <laughs> right yeah you have yeah. to also look into the analytics of your images what work what shares not only what works or what is being shared when's the best time to post them or when's the best time to get the best clickable rates right duh so yeah. <laughs> i i love when we talk about you know things like this oh okay here's the apps and tools to create your awesome visual content but we're not also thinking about the logistics so we're giving yeah. you some logistics we're laying out some of the logistics for you so you can create some sort of a process for you so that you're not throwing up doing it uh, Absolutely. Yeah. And, and I think that's the first thing you should do. Even if you don't get, even if you don't start off with a lot of work, but if you can create that plan, you'll be so far ahead of the game. Visionary paper. Yes. Come on in. Come on in. I would love to hear what, uh, you know, um, what you actually uh, do for your own business. I'm going to take a look at you. Create beautiful paper, connect with love, <laughs> inspire with great design. You must be a designer. So you can probably give yeah. me some tips. Whoop, whoop. So here she comes. Yay. Hey Lauren. Hey hi, Lauren. Hi. hi, hi, hi. Good to see you. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. This is awesome. You know, like I, I am a visual branding designer and also a stationary designer. So this is like stationary designer. <laughs> I love stationaries. Back in those days, I would go to stores and just buy stationery. They still sit in yeah. the boxes because I've gone digital a lot. And I'm, I'm like, okay, now what do I do? Now? So, so <laughs> yeah, definitely. That's like my thing. So I'm here. I was doing stuff with my kids and, you know, getting, getting into my work zone. But then I heard about it so i'm like okay i need to hop on this because i love this stuff i'm glad you like did. <laughs> any other tips but, or tools lauren that you are currently yeah. using that you think would be effective or easy enough for the viewers to use to create for people um... like me for people like me. <laughs> yeah um there is several tools that i know of um and i can place a whole list of stuff because i know of a lot of them mm -hmm. yes definitely canva.com yep. is great yep um pickmonkey.com yep. oh yes yeah. is Thank also you. awesome yes. mm -hmm. um there's also pixlr.com Pick, yep. that's p-i-x-l-r.com um bfunky.com that's also wow. really really that's a really good tool um it has a lot of stuff for Facebook ads. Their Facebook ads is on point. Um, and they offer a lot of different um, templates that you can just, you know, quickly just look just in and out and get that done. There's also one more that I'm trying to remember off the top of my head and I can't because <laughs> I have so much, That's I have funny. a long list of, I have a long list, but for me personally, I use um, Photoshop because that's the entire scope and eventually yeah. you know if you have to for me personally and this is something i'm going to actually put out on my blog this week you have three choices when it comes to design um you can either do it yourself you can hire a graphic designer or you can hire somebody like myself that's a visual branding designer where mm -hmm. i would take you from beginning to end and have you have the tools and templates and kind of walk you through your entire brand yeah. from beginning to finish when you deal with um, someone that's on uh, Fiverr or something like that, I always say to have your content first, yes. create all of your content first, Great right? Tip. And then also have like a branding guide yeah. so that you have a some rules and regulations to let them know yes. 
Okay, I'm going to give you a lot of props for that. <laughs> yes, because yeah, you know yeah. why? That Parameters. is so key, right? So Kim talked earlier about, you know, go to Fiverr, yes, and delegate. And I agree, if you cannot do it, oh, you know, delegate. No, you have delegate. to create a scope. Yes. This is what, you have to put it in a box. They're but not remember, professional I'm, designers giving, yeah, that's, that's why you pay yeah. them hourly. Right. Yeah, right, not only that, but think about this. What did I say earlier? I said, you still have to do the groundwork because you need to know what you want, right? You need to have a vision of your brand because if you can't communicate that to the designer, right? They will get, uh, have an idea, but it'll take a longer time for them to deliver your vision so be prepared yeah. coming in into your you know communication because if you can't paint a picture oh i need green walls or imagine if you're talking to an interior designer yeah, of your home you look, no, it, it's you got yeah that's what you bring up the point is you cannot get a 300 dollars job done for five dollars right that's exactly. not if you don't it's if, if you have a logo if you have a picture if you know what you want and it's just you want someone to put it together a certain way, yes. that's Fiverr. If you need to talk about strategy, branding, Correct. I don't know what look I should have. No, that's you have to invest in, yeah. absolutely. And I think yeah. here's another thing, right? If you're just getting started, you do not know what your logo would look like, what your colors or your form would look like. Well, invest in, if you cannot make the you know later investments, you make that first investment, ha get your designer to help you get started, get you set up. Right, and then if that good first investment will help you set up for all the other things that you will be doing, whether you're doing yourself or you're hiring out to your interns or your other team members that you've hired, you actually have a structure. <laughs> we, we talk about no panties over pants, right? <laughs> no panties over yeah. pants, people, right? So get that taken care of. You have to do that groundwork, work with a designer if you have to help them set you up they'll set you up on fonts on colors on you know primary um, you know um, elements of your images have them get you set up and then down the line yeah. if you feel like you want to go and work with Canva you already have templates Lauren I think it will also be a great idea like you know if uh, designers that you can help uh, people like uh, me, Kim, uh, and maybe Kenya. Oh, Kenya, she's no, we won't call Kenya in, but because she's very uh, yeah. uh, geeky and tacky, she's good at that. Yeah. You help me. Here's the thing here's <laughs> another idea, right? As designer, I think sometimes I want my designer, and I know I've worked this with my intern, I'll say, just go set it up for me so that next time I want to use the template in Canva, I already have it. Right? So That's here's right. a flyer for Credit Chat Cafe. Here's a flyer for the other show. Here's a flyer for blah, blah, blah. Have the person set it up for you and then go and do it yourself weekly. All you have to do is just change certain things. Yeah. That's a great way. That's a process. This is what I'm talking about, mm -hmm. right? You want to create awesome visual content for social media, but you probably do not have the budget, but you can probably have a start up budget, hire a designer yeah. to have you set up, right? Yeah. And then you can do your own thing, right? That yes. is very important, I think. And yeah. if you, if you yeah. say a startup, you can get quotes from like three to five different people. And, you know, back in the day when I was starting my company, I wasn't ready to do it, but I wanted to find out. Yeah. I had no idea what it cost. I went to a designer and it turned out she needed my services too. Mm -hmm. So we yeah. just exchanged, yes. you know what I mean? So yeah. you, don't be afraid to ask, yes. you know, don't ask or not ask based on your pocketbook. Yeah. Ask or don't ask based on what your business needs. You'll be surprised. Your needs are always met. Yes, absolutely. Your needs are always met. I love what Tina says. Like having a recipe all ready for all ingredients. Absolutely. I love that. I love the pre ready made uh, uh, the templates. Kenya loves the automation. Kim just, can you see our different things that we, uh, the different backgrounds mm -hmm. we come from? Kim just like, I'm just getting somebody to do it. To, I just know how to find good people. It's all right. Don't worry. I know how to find the people. No, I found all, you guys. Yeah. yeah. We all I found out you. Ah, that, that's a there skill. you go. <laughs> that's right? a very important skill to have, too. And now, you know, yeah. uh, be sure to connect with Lauren if I'm pointing right, right? So if Laura, uh, Lauren, you're at Visionary Paper, that's how people can connect with you. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, it's also at visionarystationary.com. That's awesome. Um, Check out her But website. yeah, definitely, I definitely love the fact that that's essentially what I do and also I'm going to be teaching very soon is creating your own templates uh, starting from scratch going from your mood board starting from your mood board and moving from your branding board and then 
going from there into just creating templates after templates after templates so that you're not reinventing the wheel over and over again Absolutely. so that you can get it out there until to the point where you could actually hire someone to be your full-time graphic designer on your team. Correct. Yes. Valerie Lawson, who is a VC law, just uh, reached out to you there in the live chat. Lauren, how can oh. I contact you? So Lauren, if you could just drop in your link in there, you know, and then uh, probably you both can connect. And I think Valerie, you can also follow uh, Lauren using her Twitter um, handle, yeah. which you can see on the screen, which is yeah. at Visionary Paper. That's always the easiest way, I think, because we all create uh, our accounts in Black here uh, using our Twitter account. So definitely do that and drop in your uh, website too, Lauren, just in case. So yeah, that's I think some of the things that we all need to think about when we're, whether we're using apps or other tools to create awesome visual mm -hmm. content for social media. I always like for love to touch a little bit about the process because you can have all this sexy stuff and all, but you don't have the foundation, which is how do you start it off, right? You got to do that groundwork. Yeah. You want awesome stuff, start somewhere, and then you can either do it yourself or you can hire it out, right? And then don't be worried about other stuff. Have the time. Exactly. You know what I think we should do, Kenya, would be a great thing for you to do as a free, as a thing to put on the site is um your basic wardrobe for graphics. Oh, that would be awesome. That would be yeah, great. You can put together a resource. Yeah, here's what we do. Why don't you all who wants that resource, all right, come join us in our Momentum Tribe. I'm going to drop in our information right here in the live chat. And our tribe has been very active where we put up all our post show extras, exclusives, like for instance, you know, uh, what we're talking to do here, uh, whether it's a swipe file or it's a document whatever or resource reference put it uh join us in the momentum tribe um i just put in the website there you'll just join us there and we will actually have all that information for you in the file section in our group so hopefully we'll yeah. see you in there um anybody else want to jump in or have any other you know um tips or ideas because the big thing about um the, about social media right now is having visual content that is so big because we're all fighting for eyeballs right eyeballs right and we're all fighting for eyeballs and we suddenly think like oh my god we do want to have you know um, images that relate to our brand are humanizing right um, yes. don't forget take pictures of your own because those pictures reflect who you are and your your brand Anything else anybody wants to add? So we talked about Canva. We talked about pa um, Paxo, right? Kenya, that was the word, Paxo. Um, and we Paxos. talked about, yeah, uh, mm -hmm. and um, Photoshop. Ben Pick mentioned my... about Relay That. So if you all know Craig Carpenter, he is here in the Blab community. Craig uh, does that, RelayThat.com. Um, and big, uh, the 123RF. Um, and we'll have all this uh, information in our group uh, well, and resources. Your, your, what did you do? The Google, the Instagram? Yeah, the, the Instagram. Instagram layout. So basically, when it comes to apps, people, go into... So here's the tricky thing about the apps, right? Because you don't want to be downloading too many apps. Pick one. Pick one that works for you, not all, right? Because like I said, at the end of the day, your phone may even come with editing, cropping, features that you probably didn't realize like you know how you have instagram images you can do all the different um um what do you call that effects right you have that yeah. on your phone too if you if you i mean at least for me the samsung has uh, those features built in so you can always take quick pictures wherever you are edit them up whether you put frames or you put you know text stickers whatever and put it out in social media. The thing is efficient, easy, without too much, you know, uh, overthink. But the classier or the more, um, I would say, um, defined or refined images, you might have to work with a professional. Oops, I, I'm yes. This. One link up there too is um, Adobe Spark. It was once um, Adobe Post, but now they added a lot of stuff to it. Mm -hmm. So um, their best feature that Adobe Spark has now is animated videos. So mm -hmm. you can create, um, you can take your own, you know, photos or what have you and create like a little animated feature and put it on Instagram or Facebook or what have you. And that's a really great tool as well. So I love that for um, Adobe Spark. So. Yeah. Awesome. yeah, that sounds um, interesting. I love so for even for me, um, 
Adobe is like, oh, what, right? So that's Adobe, what I, no, Adobe's the top. If you really yeah. want to learn how to do it right, Adobe yeah. is the way to go. Yeah. If yeah. you're, uh, you know, if you know that you have a good learning curve, I'm just going to mute you a little bit here, Lauren, because you have a background. So if you actually have, you know, um, what should I say, um, the technical capability, go ahead and use Adobe because then, you know, you can do a lot of fancy stuff. But we're talking about social media content today, meaning something that you could use on your social media uh, pages, whether it's social networks on Google+, Facebook, LinkedIn, whatever, right? Sometimes you do not need a lot of overthinking for those images. You want quick, fast, efficient, but also relevant. So maybe, you know, you need something simpler like Canva. So start with Canva. For me, you know, I've done a lot of our images on Canva just because I already know what the, uh, you know, my my branding is like right because yeah. I have templates tons of templates but if you yeah. want to go a step further and you're awesome at doing that you need to do a little bit more so use Adobe yeah that's the yeah. top of the line yeah anybody else yeah. have any other suggestion um, definitely for headshots uh, great headshots work with a professional photographer yeah absolutely. you know and then see how you like it and then if you want to buy packages of images you know, find people or photographers that offer that, and you can use them in your social media, um, social media posts. So, anybody else has any questions, or probably want to jump in, or got tips, ideas? Um, yeah. So I'm gonna drop in next week's show, people. This is the the, <laughs> the last um, uh, the last actually the last show of the the month is usually the SC chat cafe so the entire month of June we've been talking about social media so I'm gonna drop that in that's the link go ahead and subscribe everybody and the next show is SC chat cafe using social media to grow your business so we've taken the entire month's conversation because you know in one hour show we can't possibly do too much right so here's your opportunity to come back and you know kind of do some sort of a mind mapping brainstorming ask questions so that's gonna be um, the link for next week's show same time Wednesday 11 a.m. Eastern um, and we are here um, oh, um, me Kenya and Kim are here to answer your questions about how to use social media to grow your business it's a huge topic so come yes, ready that's with your we questions two shows for that. yes <laughs> so that's why even though we close out the month with a SC Check cafe but there's always going to be conversations in our uh, community so be sure to join our community so that you can always continue to have the post show conversations for extras exclusives for swipe files and all that stuff be sure to uh, you know um, join us right there I just put it in the link hey my friend Alan Smith how are you thank you for tuning in so um, other than that everybody if you want to see all the shows that I produce I'm going to also drop in the, sh uh, the link right in here you can get you know how it is black has been crazy a little bit so sometimes the scheduled shows do not show on our profiles so we've created um, a way for you to get all that information so you would go to where I dropped in bit.ly saw TV live you will go to that link you'll get all our show listing and the schedule for the 30 days yeah I do plan ahead people so be sure to check that link right there and that's my process anybody else has any questions or any comments because I think it would be so awesome this is a great topic next week will be much yeah. bigger because the conversation will be how do you social media to grow your business right Lauren, Lauren do you have anything to say closing comments on on the conversation that you were part of oh thank you so much for letting me jump in and sharing everything that I I know about you know design and so forth um, just, you know, like, like you said, it's not as, you know, hard to create great graphics and great visuals, but it all starts out with your content and your story. So yeah. if you have a great story to share, just tap into who you are and just let the visuals from there kind of tell your story. Basically. Absolutely. Great. Awesome. Great. Cool. Awesome. All right. Love I'm going to, I'm going to just, um, you know, um, uh, kind of recap what we talked about today is basically, I'm going to. Lauren, I'm going to just X you out, all right? Because we're going to do a closing. Thank you for joining Thanks us. Thanks for joining us, Lauren. Bye. Bye. All right. So, um, again, I think some of the, to recap what we talked earlier today is, I think number one, when we want to use 
apps and tools to create awesome visual content, social media. One takeaway, big takeaway, start with somewhere in the groundwork, right? Do the groundwork because whether you do it yourself or whether someday you're ready to hire and delegate this out, you will need to have some sort of a process or, you know, a foundation because if you don't feel like doing it anymore, you're going to go like, here, Kim. Here's my ABCs. You're just going to do exactly like this template, right? So it's easier for your teammate or your hired talent to deliver yes. your vision, right? Because it's kind of important. Absolutely. And thing number two is, you know, I think don't forget to use original pictures, pictures that would highlight the elements of your human side, meaning if you're out let there. Let people into your mind. Yes. Yeah, let people know what you're doing. Yeah, and I think once, um, once Kim, you had asked me, like, you know, I don't know what pictures to put on my social media, I mean, I mean my social network, like where my Facebook page, and you asked if, you know, personal images are going to be good. I said, yeah, as long as it's relevant to your branding. Here's an idea. For us, you know, whether we do shows, I also love to go out networking. People do want to see who I network or um, hop knob with, right? Yeah, so people want to yeah, see what's no, going on. <laughs> yeah, like, where's that? Where's that today? Where's, oh, oh, where is that? Like, today? where's Waldo? Where's Kim? Where's Kenya? People want to know that because sometimes you're doing maybe a nonprofit work, right? You want to show that human side of you. Oh, that's a big piece. Trust me, if you're doing charity work or you're doing Relay for Life, any kind of um, you know those uh, events behind the scenes, yes, behind, behind the, the scenes, scenes action, take pictures. Yeah. And then go to your analytics and take a look. If you don't believe us, take a look at, at that uh, analytics for that image and you'll see people will, you, I mean, more people view that because it's more human, you know, because it's more human. So I think that's a very important thing too. And any number three and number four, Kim and Kenya, you all want to contribute to the recap of the show? Um, yeah, go, ahead. Go, ahead, go ahead, Kenya. Well, I mean, I would just, really reiterate what you said and what we've been talking about is you know 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 where you're going um have have a road map and be clear because you know it doesn't matter whether you're creating it yourself like you said Zeph, or hiring somebody you need to you need to kind of know and i've seen a lot of people waste a lot of money spinning their wheels you know just doing stuff or hiring people to do stuff and not really being clear on what it is that you want and even if you don't know what you want, you need to have some sort of idea of what your, like Lauren was talking about, what your brand is, what you're trying to communicate um, before you jump into creating visuals for yourself or hiring people to do them for you. So I would just kind of drill that one home because I think it's really important. Yep. Yeah, and I think, I think, especially for those of you wanting to use social media to engage subscribers or to get clients, that's a specific strategy. That's a specific strategy. So, um, and then I would say template, basic wardrobe, you know, black pants, black shoes, white shirt, some pop of color. I love you said you know? that in that analogy. Oh, I okay. love that. And believe, <laughs> there's a story my grandmother told me about when she started over with three kids and she had to start a job and they didn't have, you know, she was like, and I would help me when I started out of college going, Graham, I got to buy a wardrobe and my wardrobe isn't, she goes, no, this is what you do. A skirt, a pair of pants, three shirts and a blazer. And she went to explain to me how that. you could rinse it out or wash it Hallelujah. and how and on, on payday, you go buy another <laughs> blazer or another pop of color. Yeah. That's how you don't go broke. Yeah. Yeah. So it works with social media. Oh my I God. That's the biggest takeaway from there, people, right? We talk about process. We talk about having a template or Racy. templates. That's Grandma Boss. There Racy. you go. <laughs> you can't beat Grandma. grandma. You can't beat Grandma. <laughs> Work smart, not hard. Absolutely, Tina. So, you know, as we talk about all this, you know, um, setting it all up, we want to have all the sexy stuff go back to the structure or the uh, groundwork because you need to start there. All right. Um, have the basics, set it all up, and then you can use all these tools to create awesome visual content for social media. Be sure it's relevant to your branding, which is, I think, very important because you, you can be really funky also, but at the end of the day, if you be want honest. better viewing, just be yeah, just be honest and see, you know, uh, just like we said, Kim. If, if you like to curse a lot and it's part of your brand, go ahead and do that. Who cares, there you right? go. Let it <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. So I just want to say thank you all for, you know, joining us and uh, be sure to come back next week for our SC Chat Cafe um, episode. I'm going to put in the link right here. Subscribe to that. 
Ooh, where, where am I looking at it? Okay, I'm putting it right here in the live chat. Subscribe to that. It's Ask C Chat Cafe using social media to grow your business. Bring your questions and hopefully we'll see you in our uh, tribe. And I'm going to put in the link here again. Be sure to tweet this out, people, and share this with your buddies and your tribe and your community, whoever you call, whatever you're calling them these days. We'll see you back <laughs> next week, Wednesday, 11 a.m. Eastern. 8 a.m. Pacific and 4 p.m. London time. Woo I am. Can you imagine? I know my time zones. Woo people. Do. <laughs> I don't know what time it is on the East Coast. I know. <laughs> All right, everybody. Have, thank I, you. I so don't know what time it is here. I know. I have 14 time zones in my phone, so I cannot know when I wake up. Thank you, everybody, for being here. We'll see you next week again. Bye. Bye. Bye, everybody. Yay! Yay awesome. Bye. We'll right. see y'all in the group. Bye, guys. Bye, everybody. I, I have to, to leave today. Bye, everyone. I have to bounce, but I need to connect with you both together and individually this week. So, but I will be, I'll send you guys emails, okay? Awesome. Okay, sounds good. Talk to you later. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.